Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about what equivalence class is. Um, now I'm reading the definition from Wikipedia. The class of all members of a set that are given in equivalence relation is an equivalence class. So um, I'm going to show you two examples of how to define an equivalence class and um, yeah, that's all. I will just tell you um, stuff that will help you to um, just to realize what it is. So, uh, we have a set A. Set A, which um, represents all cars in some uh, neighborhood. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and some other. They're all cars. And we are given a relation. A uh, relates to B if and only if A has the same um, color as B. So A and B have similar color. Um, what we uh, have to do is to say that this relation is an equivalent relation. It's, bo it's uh, reflective, uh, symmetric and transitive. Uh, so um, well, let's just uh, first prove it. Um, reflexive. A relates to A um, and it is true because the color, uh, the same color has, the same car has the same color. And let's say we have R relates to B, uh, then B relates to A also because if uh, car A had the same color as car B, then car B has the same color as car A, so it's symmetric. And transitive, if uh, uh, A relates to B and uh, B relates to C, then A relates to C, because if these two colors, uh, cars have the same color, and these two cars have the same color, have the same color, then uh, car A, a uh, car C have the same color. So this relation is an equivalence relation. So let's... Um, try to define an equivalence class. What equivalence classes do uh, is that they uh, take a set of A and partition it um, to some other subsets. Uh, for instance, uh, there is set A and there are subsets A1 and A2. And those sets do not have um, uh, similar elements in them. S uh, subset A1 and subset A2 are disjoint. They don't have the same elements and they are both subsets of set A. What also matters is that those two subsets of A, uh, they kind of under the, this relation A is to B applies to them. So, what I'm going to do is um, say, for instance, car A, car B, car C are um, all green, car D and car E are red, and car F and car G are green. So, what I'm going to do is to create an equiv equivalence classes. Those are subsets of this set which uh, to which this uh, uh, equivalence relation applies. What we can do is to divide um, to those sets all uh, green cards, or cars, all uh, red cars, and all yellow cars. Uh, indeed, if we see uh, this um, subset with green cars, uh, um, has cars A, B, and C, which are not in those two classes, subsets of A. Uh, this applies D, E and some other, and this involves F, G and some other yellow cars. So there are no uh, A, B, C in those two uh, whoops, subsets, and uh, there is no D, E in those two subsets, and there are no F and G in these two subsets. They uh, these subsets of A are disjoint because uh, red 
cars cannot be in the set of green cars. You understand how it works, right? And what matters more, uh, those three subsets of A, they exist under this equivalence relation. Because, uh, look, A relates to B, if it's look at this, uh, those are green cards and they all have the same color. So they are under this relation. Because if the relation is A has the same color as B, two cards have the same color. And if the subset says that they all have the same color, the relation applies, right? And those three subsets are equivalence classes for a set A and relation a relates to B. So, um, the second example. For instance, oops, oops, sorry, uh, we have a set X which consists of all natural numbers of such X where each X is natural number, right? And we have such a relation. A relates to B where A and B are the elements of this set X. Um, if and only if the difference between A and B is divisible, I'm sorry, uh, is divisible uh, by 4. Basically, A minus B uh, equals to some 4n, and uh, any 4 uh, where n is a natural number. Every 4n will be divisible by 4, right? And uh, this relation is an equivalence relation. Just take my word for it. I'm not going to prove it to you. This is the example from the student book uh, I've been throwing in the first minutes of the video. And uh, just take my word for it. It is a equivalence relation. Now we have to define the equivalence classes for this set and for this relation. Uh, just uh, let's think a bit. And so, uh, basically, every uh, number, every natural number, can be presented like Fn plus A, right? Uh, just uh, some uh, number divisible by uh, 4 plus some um, other number, right? Uh, and like uh, 1 is, for instance, 4 times uh, 0 plus 1, right? We can present all numbers like this. And uh, here, the difference of two numbers, which can be presented like here, uh, must be divisible by 4. So, the uh, basically, this uh, number, a minus b, have a reminder 0, right? Like uh, some x modulus 4 have reminder 4, uh, right? We divide uh, x by 4 and uh, get a reminder 4, or a reminder 0, right? And basically what we have to do with the number to for it to be divisible by 4 is to get rid of a reminder. Like, um, if we have a number 17, right? Uh, 17 modulus 4, it's the remainder of a division 17 by 4, equal to 1, right? And uh, what we are um, going to do is to make 17 minus 1, it is a remainder, equal 16. And 16 is divisible by 4 for sure, right? So, again look here, number, natural number minus natural number divisible by 4. So basically we have, we need to, uh, to make here a remainder being equal to 0. By the way, uh, what are remainders of a division by 0? Those are 0, 1, 2 and 3. Um, all the remainders um, um, are less than uh, the, this divisor, right? And they all um, uh, belong to the set of natural numbers. So, 
what you have to do is just to make the remainders of these two numbers equal for this uh, the we subtract a remainder by from four from this number subtract from a remainder by four uh, from this number um, basically uh, if a uh, equals some uh, four n plus uh, remainder like x uh, we subtract uh, the b which is 4m plus x the same remainder we have 4n uh, this m uh, minus 4m and uh, we have no x because x minus x equals 0 right and we have some 4 uh, times n minus my m where n minus m uh, is um, an element is an element of a set of natural numbers and this number will be divisible by 4 okay and as i said the only four uh, types four remainders possible when we divide a uh, some a by 4 so the value of x might be either 0 either 1 either 2 or 3 okay and so basically we need to have four equivalence classes um, which are 4n plus 0 okay look here where n is an element is a uh, natural number we have the second um, equivalence class for n uh, plus uh, 1 where n is an element uh, is a um, natural number we also have for n plus 2 uh, write the same thing and for n plus 3 and yeah where n is um, element is natural number and those are four equivalence classes for this set and for this relation equivalence relation those equivalence classes are disjoint okay uh, because uh, the those numbers which are included in the subsets uh, are just different um, those are all the subsets of class of set x and to every equivalence class a relation applies relation exists as um, i showed you here right because x just x uh, varies here